we will prove the Heisenberg uncertainty principle using the concept of commutator. The commutator of two operators A and B is also an operator. Uh, the notation is this. Uh, a and B separated by a comma and enclosed by a pair of square bracket. And this commutator of A and B is equal to AB minus BA. For an arbitrary function fx, if we apply this commutator to fx, the result is ABF minus BAF. And the difference is the order of the operations. Over here, we apply B to F first, followed by A. Over here, we apply A to F first, followed by B. If we switch A and B, uh, the result is the negative of the original AB commentator. And uh, obviously, then AB equals minus BA for any function F. When AB equals zero, that means the order does not matter. AB equals BA. We say AB commute, and changing the order of the operands does not affect the result. Again, it just means AB F equals BA F. For example, the first derivative operator and the second derivative operator commute. If you apply this second derivative operator to a function f, followed by another operation, uh, first derivative, the result is the third derivative of the function. If you switch the order, the result is still the third derivative of the original function. Therefore, these two operators commute. In quantum mechanics, if two operators commute, uh, their corresponding observables A and B can be determined exactly at the same time. For example, the momentum and kinetic energy operators commute. So these two. So basically, they are just the first derivative and the second derivative operators multiplied by a constant here and here. And we know they commute, and thus the momentum and kinetic energy of a particle can be determined exactly at the same time. What if A and B do not commute? The commutator is different from zero. And then the corresponding observables A and B cannot be determined exactly at the same time. This leads to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The uncertainty of x times the uncertainty of p is greater than one half of h bar. If we evaluate the commutator of the position and momentum operators uh, over here, we apply the commutator to a uh, arbitrary function f, and then uh, throughout the derivation, we are applying uh, the position and uh, momentum operator to this f in two different orders. Over here, momentum operator first. Over here, position operator first. Uh, after some simple steps, the result is simply ih bar times fx. And therefore, for any fx, we know this commutator uh, of position and momentum is always equivalent to a number operator, which is just the IH bar operator. And in quantum mechanics, uh, this suggests the following inequality. If you see this two momentum and position operators do not commute, the result is non-zero. And then the uncertainty of position times the uncertainty of momentum is uh, e greater than or equal to the absolute value of the result of that commutator, in this case, it's just ih bar, the absolute value of ih bar divided by 2, which is h bar over 2, uh, which is roughly uh, 0 0.08 times Planck constant.